Hey guys, this is Brandon over at heavyduty.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own set of parallettes with uh, simple materials you can get at the hardware store. These are a great piece of equipment to have around the house. They tuck away easily, they're easy to make, and best of all, you can take the time to develop those hard to attain gymnastic skills. Alright, let's get right into it. So the first thing is to review the materials that you'll need for this project. We're going to use inch and a half PVC. You'll need a total of 10 feet of PVC pipe, 4 T-junctions, 4 elbows, 8 end caps, and some PVC glue and primer. You also need a few tools to get this done, a marker, a tape measure, and a saw to cut the PVC with. The first step is to measure your cuts on the PVC. We're going to need three different lengths of PVC pipe. We'll need two segments at 24 inches, four segments at eight inches, and eight segments at five inches. Now it's time to make our cuts. You can use a simple hand hacksaw if you'd like, but a compound miter or a chop saw makes quick order of the work. After completing your cuts, your pile of material should look something like this. Eight five inch pieces, four eight inch pieces, two 24 inch pieces. If you haven't figured it out yet, this is how our parallel is going to be going together. Now it's time to begin gluing pieces together. We'll start by putting together the feet of the parallettes. If you haven't done so yet, please be sure to read the directions on your PVC glue and primer. For each foot piece, you'll need one T junction, two 5 inch lengths of PVC pipe, and two end caps. For the instructions of the PVC primer and glue that I used, I'm going to apply primer to both the end cap piece and the 5 inch segment piece first, then apply the adhesive. Insert the piece into the end cap and twist a quarter turn, then hold the pieces together for 30 seconds. Continue this process until you have four pieces that look like this. Now it's time to build the handle pieces for our parallettes. Gather the remaining pieces, which should look like those shown in the picture. Continue gluing and twisting until you've got all the pieces as shown here. Now it's time to combine all these piece parts into our final parallettes. It's very important that you make sure that all the pieces line up so that the parallettes are stable when sitting on the ground. Lastly, it's advisable to rough up the surfaces of the parallette handles so that chalk can adhere to them properly. Once you've given all the glue adequate time to dry, it's time to start improving those gymnastic skills. If you like this video, head over to heavyduty.com for more of the same. Thanks. Good luck.